Hello friends, welcome to another video of SlideScope and in this video you will learn about what is an API or application programming interface. Now you might have heard about this term many times API now but in this video we will try to explain what is an API and how it works. Now the thing is suppose you are trying to create an application. Suppose you are trying to create an application in which you, wa you want live status of something. So suppose you want live status of weather updates or you want live status of stock details or anything, right? So in this case, if you want weather updates or stock details, so what will happen on your application, a client will enter name of, let's say you are building a weather application, so client will enter name of city or area or any particular location. So the client of your app, the user of your app will enter the name of that particular location and then you have to tell them the, the temperature or let's say humidity or wind speed, things like that. Let's say the temperature is 33 degrees Celsius. So your application will give them an answer that temperature is 33 degrees Celsius. Suppose you are creating an application which will tell stock details of any particular company. So what client will enter, client will enter the symbol let's say they entered aapl or they in entered infi or they entered any particular symbol and in that case your application will tell them the current price of that particular let's say is 200 usd i'm not sure but let's say the answer is 200 usd so this is the current stock price of that particular company of which the user has entered a symbol so if you want to create such type of application what options do you have the first option is do your research and go ahead and put sensors in every city let's talk about this location thing first so you have to get answer about every city you have to get answers about temperature of every city so then what you have to do, you have to put sensors in every city and then you have to create such an application, such a server that, that can read the information of those sensors and that can send the information of those sensors to your application so that whenever a particular city or a location is entered, you are fetching data from that particular sensor and then displaying it to the user there are different ways of doing that but this thing will be really really expensive for you suppose you have to build an application which can which can navigate users so if you have to navigate users so you have you must know all the coordinates on this earth and because users might enter any particular city any particular pin code or users might enter any particular area as a starting point and any particular area as an end point. So there are some cases in which we cannot simply go ahead and start collecting data and then create our application. We cannot put name of all the cities and then we cannot update name of all the cities on our own, at least not as an individual. So for that, what do what things do you have so that you can start this type of application the thing is you can use an api an api is a service that will let you use the data that they have so there are some really big companies or big organizations that have collected vast amount of data they have many people working for them and they can afford such type of data they can afford such type of application and then what they do 
they make that data available for apps like us they make that data available for developers like us so that we can access their data and we can build something with them so for weather there are many services that will let you create weather applications for example there is open weather api here so you can see here this is an api called openweathermap.org and when you will access their api so you will see that in this case they will return answer in json format and for any particular city you are getting all the data here if you will go with raw data so you will see that a json copy is returned here so for things like that where you have to create something like that what you can do you can access such apis instead of going and putting sensors in every city you can access some api like this and then you can build an application easily so now what you are doing here or what you will be doing here whenever a client your client whenever your user will enter name of any particular city or something like that so what you will do you will enter the url that is provided by these apis so you will from your application you will access the url so in php in java in c sharp asp.net in every language there are ways in python there are ways to access a particular url and then handle the response that is written by that particular url so in this case you can see the url that is mentioned here so this is one such url so there and similarly you can access many apis so you just have to enter the name of city and country here and then they will give you details about the that particular city and country their latitude longitude id what is the weather condition what is the current temperature and things like that so what you are doing here with the help of your application whenever a client is making a request so you are making a request to that particular server this request can be in form of a url so you will write http example.com suppose you want weather data so you will see information like city lucknow and so you, you can uh, enter information or you can access information in this particular format and then this service here so this is some weather api service this service will what will this service do it will return a response it will return a response so it is as simple as that so you request something and they give you back something it's like you go to a restaurant you request something and the waiter then takes your request forward to the chef and then the chef creates the data and then with the help of that waiter you get the data back to you so that's what sir this service is doing the data is something that you want and the request that you have made is to this particular service and then this service will return the data so this will be a response now this response can be anything it can be as per this service or as per the configuration of this service it can be xml it can be json it can be plain text also it can be html also it can be anything but now think about this when you are trying to create an application so you already have the html right you already have the html or the design so you need the information in such a way that that information is more meaningful that information is structured so xml and json are two such things which are structured data json and xml are a way of storing and transferring 
are file formats in which we can store structured data just like we do in case of SQL tables, just like we do in case of Excel files. So the most common example is Excel files or spreadsheets where we in, uh, store information in a structured format so that the readability is better. So reading JSON or reading XML is very easy and JSON is like a library in which you have key and their values and in XML there are tags that can be used to get information. Again I have a separate section for JSON in which I will tell you what is JSON, how you can read JSON, how you can read JSON with Python, how you can read JSON with different type of programming languages. So you don't need to worry about this because you are learning API. So the most common type of responses that you get in case of API service is XML or JSON. And every programming language, every common programming language that can be used to create an app or a website. Suppose you are creating Android application or you are creating a PHP application or a Python application. So they all know how to handle XML or JSON data. There are libraries that can do this. There are modules that you can import to work with XML and JSON data. And then from that XML string or from that XML data, you can give the information back to the user. So this is a simple application that I have created with the help of a weather API. So I will demonstrate this to you. So you can click on speak or you can also type here. So allow your microphone. What is the temperature of Delhi? Temperature in Delhi is 34.73 degrees Celsius and wind in Delhi is blowing at 1.95 kmph. Weather condition is haze. So now you can see first of all it can understand what I am saying and second thing is it will tell you the temperature and weather conditions. So the weather condition thing, I am using an API for that, Open Weather Map API. For speech to text conversion and text to speech conversion, I am using APIs. And for some artificial intelligence purpose, for example, hello. Greetings. Who is your developer? Ankit Srivastava is my creator. So I work for Slidescope Trademark. Now the thing is we are using many APIs here and so the thing from your app your, or your website you can post a request to these weather API services or different type of services. Then as a response they will give you XML or JSON output then you have to program them so that you can convert that output as per your need. Now, for example, in my case, I have converted it to text. From text to voice, we can get that. So there are APIs using which you can convert the your voice to text and then you can convert the text back to voice. Now there is one more thing. This is your app or website and Let's say this is in any particular format. Let's say it's in Android format. Suppose someone else want to build this. So suppose they have their own app. So let's say it's in iOS format. And there, there can be any fourth person also, third person. They want to build their app and the app is in PHP. So the thing is iOS, Android, PHP all can understand these API responses and they will also send a request to this server and this server will send the response to them. So they can build their own app. So 
you you will be using a service that that is used by many people at the same time so and that is what that makes it really important and useful that one particular company or one particular organization does the work of collecting the data and doing all the things and then people developing application with the help of different type of languages small developers who cannot afford such big systems they can access these services many times free of cost and many times for a small fraction of price or for low prices or as per the requirement also so you pay as you go so, so all the api services are not free but for educational purpose there are many apis that are free on my channel also you will find many videos uh, in which i have used some apis so this is the meaning of api this is how we can use api to build our applications and this is a very general purpose description about application programming interface there is no coding or everything part is not discussed here but this is just a general overview what api is api is a system that lets you request any particular api service this can be weather api service this can be stock api service this can be an api service like wikipedia also wikipedia also has a api service you can request their service to get some response so suppose you want to you want to get response from wikipedia you want to search anything on wikipedia so they have their own api as well so there are many services that have open apis so you can use them first to understand concept of api you can choose some easy programming languages like python or php in beginning if you are not using any other language so you can begin with python and php then you can develop these applications really easy you can go with json because understanding json is really easy you can go with xml also but i think json is a better choice and it's up to you i think now you understand what an api is and now you can go ahead and create your own applications